All right, so this is Lewin Diaz. He plays infield. He's 26 years old, and he has gone through a lot this offseason. So let's first start off with his career in the big leagues. So he's played with the Marlins, not a ton of playing time, as you can see here, 14 games in 2020, 40 in 2021, 58 in 2022. But in this offseason, he has gone through a lot of different moves, as you saw from the thumbnail. Uh, he, he's been DFA'd a lot. If we go down here, 2022, this is a short video, but I just wanted to go through his offseason. So it looks like he's been playing winter ball. In November, this team activated Lewin Diaz. Then November, he was with Miami. Pittsburgh claimed him off of waivers. Then, about a week later, Pittsburgh DFA'd him. So he was made available to waivers off of waivers to another team. A few days later, after being DFA'd by Pittsburgh, he was claimed by the Baltimore Orioles. Then a couple weeks later, the Baltimore Orioles said, no, we're good, don't need you. We're going to DFA you. Haven't seen him played it one game yet with the Orioles. Pirates didn't see him play one game with the Pirates, DFA'd him after claiming him. Same thing that happened here with the Orioles. A couple days later, the Orioles traded him. They found a partner, traded him to the Braves. Five days later, the Braves, without seeing Lewin Diaz play one game in their uniform, now we're good. We're going to DFA you. Make him available to everyone in Major League Baseball again. Then, less than a week later, or about a week later, after he was DFA'd by the Braves, he gets claimed by the Baltimore Orioles, who DFA'd him earlier in the offseason and traded him. So what the Orioles did here, they got something back for Luis Diaz in the trade to the Braves, and then they got him back because they claimed him off waivers. Then, less than a week later, they DFA him and say, no, we're good. We'll make you available. No one picked him up. And so now, yesterday, January 17th, he was sent to one of Baltimore's minor league teams, outrighted to, I believe that's their AAA team. Yeah, AAA Norfolk. Looks like he's going to stick with the organization for now. But just imagine that. Good thing this wasn't during the season because he would have had a lot of air mileage, right, on the plane or buses or whatever. He would have been traveling a lot. But right now, if this was during the season, He'd be going back and forth and back and forth. Here, he's just having his name. Okay, I'm an Oriole. I'm a pirate. I'm a brave. Started the season as a Marlin. Now he's an Oriole again. Wild offseason. Hopefully, he doesn't have to experience much more of this, and hopefully he can stay with Baltimore, maybe make the team at some point in Baltimore, and succeed because he went through a lot this offseason. I'm sure he went through a lot of emotions. Wild. I don't know if I've seen this before.